Welcome back to Sky Factory. This is episode 2. But if you've missed the first episode, you don't need to worry. Here's a recap. I spawned on a tree, cut it down, did some other things, and got a diamond. Something I found out in between episodes is that you can make wooden gears and compost leaves instead of saplings. And that saves a lot of time since you get every leaf. So that's how I grind up this dirt yesterday. I'm really low on food now. Something else I found out yesterday is that this is gross, but I can cook silkworms. It isn't good food, but it's something at least. And the only thing I have. I have a lot of dirt. So let's put something heavy on my mouse. It, it might be better to... I can change my controls. Instead of right click, we have space. And now I can put something. Let's take my controller. I can put my controller on my spacebar. And there we go. The reason I'm sifting this dirt is because I want to get my stuff back from the graves. So I'm making a bucket which I also need for a cobblestone generator. I now jump on right click and right click on shift. But I'm too lazy to fix that. Let's make stones. We're getting a lot of those now. Which we can... Oh, I'm accidentally jumping. This is uh, as annoying as I thought it would be. Oh, I almost jumped off the edge. That would have been bad. Should probably rebind it, but I'm gonna need to see even more now. So, yeah, I don't really see the reason. So, what we wanna get now is iron. We wanna get two iron, because I got one in the outro last time. And also, it's raining now, and I'm thinking... It isn't heating to turn off the rain, because it is just annoying. I then switched to my controls back, because I don't want to fall off the world. I have um, two iron, and I need a few more. I, I thought I would get more, but I instead I got an emerald, which is pretty rare. As rare as a diamond. Which it makes perfect sense that I got instead. I'm just salty now. Let's try this a second time, and see if I can get luckier now. Let's hammer down the stone. It's really nice doing this with the right keybinds now. Oh nice, if we look at the middle slot there, we have um, four iron thingies, which is one connectment. The rarity of this is weird, because I have two diamonds and two emeralds. If you remember from the last episode, we can duplicate this. Look at that, we got five instead of four. So it's, it's not duplication, but it's... In a while it's gonna be a duplication. And now we have our second ingot. We just need three crushed iron. It shouldn't be too hard. And now, finally, we have a bucket. Look at that. And I collected rainwater in these, so smelting the saplings to get this was completely useless. Oh! You don't have vein mind. That's the bad part of vein miner there. I'm happy my axe broke. <laughs> the whole base wouldn't be destroyed, but still. Could have been much worse. Now I just need to waste a lot of time rebuilding the base, I guess. Why did I vein mine? If you look at that, the plan is just to glide down with the water. Let's see here. Where did I. We can actually. If we press J, we can enable waypoint beacons. Now we see where we died. Okay, so this one is down here. I can... I don't know if water breaks the graves. But I don't know what I risk. Let's go next to it. And this is a good time to mention that I'm playing in 1.7. So this was a long time before the new swim in 1.13. Let's see here, I can just break this, I guess, and I get everything in my inventory. Okay, it would have been bad if I had full inventory. Let's get over to my other grave now, because, yeah, just for an I I've died twice. <laughs> I don't think this is full. <sighs> that scared me. And since we can't swim fast, this is gonna take some time. No, I shouldn't have removed the water before I got up. That was stupid of me. 
Well, at least I have a platform. Why did I do that? And there we go. Rescue operation is done. Let's see here. We have... One thing we have here is an achievement book. Which we're gonna use now. Because I actually got achievements in the last episode. But I didn't cross off because I lost the book. Use a crook on leaves to get saplings and a silkworm. We did that in the last episode. Same with these. Sift gravel, sand and dust in the sea. We actually haven't done this yet. We haven't sifted all of them. But I have a dust, so I can just sieve it. There we go. We got sky stone and powdered iron. We can mark that achievement. Oh, and I have apples now. So I can eat. What I need to do now is get some dust. We don't need that much. Let's hammer the stone, gravel, and sand. And what we need to do now is put water here, and dust here, and get clay. Then we can break this. And what we need to do is make an unfired crucible, which we need porcelain clay for. Which I think that's just bone meal and clay. Yeah. Also, again, it's weird that I can get all of this stuff from just... This is just all organically. Leaves and wood gives me tin, aluminum, and redstone. We're not getting that much bone meal. We need three more. There's just a lot of sieving in this episode that I had to cut out. But I'm so happy I grinded up the dirt. I have 27 dust now. If I can get the last one. Yeah, now it's 27. If this isn't enough, I'm gonna be mad. I only need two bone mean. Let's get the last three, and we have an unfired crucible, which we can smelt here. If you thought it made zero sense that you could uh, smelt leaves on a torch, this is gonna make less sense. As you can see on the top here, we're smelting lava from cobblestone with a torch. So, what we're making now is a cobblestone generator. Let's take some slabs here and go down a bit. Let's get down here. Let's put down the slabs here. And now we can mark another achievement. We crafted and cooked a crucible. We also made clay. And uh, yeah, we've made lava, but we can't pick it up yet. And here, on Stone Age, build a second layer to your island below the level you started from. Which we've done here. Let's make the cobblestone generator now. We're building it with dirt, but it's, that works. If you don't know, the way you make a cobblestone generator is by letting water flow and the lava flow into the water. Let's see now... Yeah, we have lava! So, what we can do is go down here. Please say that this doesn't break. Oh, look at that, it works. That's great. Before I automate the cobble again, I want to get these two achievements. And they're not going to slow us down, so there's no reason to not get them. I crafted and used the compressed hammer. And again, this is an old version, so I can't shift click into crafting tables. And I saved compressed blocks. That's how easy that was. We also, most importantly, built the cobblestone generator. Then it took a lot of time to get the redstone I needed to automate the cobblestone, but you don't have to see through that. And you can't see through that, because it isn't even a video. Let's make a transfer node, because that's something we need. We need a transfer pipe. Let's get a transfer pipe now. I always forget, you need a shift click. And we have one iron to need. Why do you have to be like this? I have one aluminum to deliver, but I have one redstone to deliver. What is the next thing? Finally! And of course I get three redstone now. Still, I'm, I'm happy, I need redstone, but it's... Okay, I need a chest, so let's make that. And there is something nice about just making it like this. And now we have this. And I think I need something called a world in track upgrade. Yeah, this thing. Something I can do too is make a, something called a better barrel. One slab and logs and a chest. 
and I think that stores more than I cast. It looks nicer at least. So that's <laughs> that's really what I care about. And also, you've seen it in the thumbnail. That's what I planned all along. Let's put this here now, and we have a world interaction upgrade. Hopefully that's what I need. I haven't actually looked it up. Let's put this here, and this here. Oh, look at that! I'm getting cobblestone. Okay, I can also add a speed upgrade, but I don't really need it. Okay, it holds... 4,000 items, and it's also like 64 stacks max, so that's way better than a chest. Look at that! Oh, that feels so good. Something I want to make here is make a grass field 25 blocks away from your base for spawning animals. Which is something we can use in the next episode. Let's actually go down here and get some cobblestone. Three stacks, just like that. Oh, this is so nice. This is just amazing. <laughs> We're really starting to get OP now, and it's only episode 2. Let's make this road now. Let's see, I have I didn't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's at least 25 blocks out. It's been the same on this side. And let's put slabs on the side now. This feels so weird. In the start of this episode, cobblestone was something rare, and it took a lot of time to make. And in the last episode especially, this took a lot of time to make. And it was something big when I had the first cobblestone. But now I have unlimited, and get like one every second. It's so weird. There we go. We have the, a kind of a breed here. So let's put dirt here. Now that we have dirt here, let's put a grass seed. And yeah, it just made this a grass block. So it's gonna spread, and in the next episode we're gonna have a grass area here, which your plan is to get emeralds. It isn't grass yet, but it's gonna be grass in 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm checking that off. Thanks so much for watching. In the next episode, episode 3, I'm gonna build a mob spawner down there. I'm thinking it is down somewhere on that lower platform. If you want to watch episode 1, you can click here. And yeah, I'm gonna put torches in between episodes. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye!